Harley-Davidson is out to make a bold statement. The motor company says that it plans to release 50 new models in the next five years. This initiative begins with its latest model that targets a younger demographic of urban riders, the 2017 Harley-Davidson Street Rod. I headed to Daytona Bike Week to test the new Street Rod, the third model in Harley's street lineup, along with the Street 750 and Street 500. Though based on the street platform, the Street Rod is an entirely different motorcycle, one that was designed with a form-over-function mindset after Harley talked to over 3,000 riders for design input. 1. Creating about 70 horsepower, claimed, the Street Rod's high output Revolution X750 engine delivers just enough power for urban riding. 2. Though it's built on the Street 750 platform, the suspension is updated for much better handling. 3. Crank the preload on the rear coil over rear shock absorbers, and the street rod handles much better. 4. The ergonomics are extremely crunched, and simply didn't work for my nearly 6-foot frame. 5. Due to dual 300mm discs up front, and a single 300mm disc out back, the Street Pro has massive stopping power. 6. The 2 into 1 exhaust looks great, but gets in the way of your right foot when riding on the balls of your feet. 7. The 2017 Harley-Davidson Street Rod is 30 pounds heavier than the Street 750, and wears all 519 pounds wet very well. 8. The bikini fairing looks the aggressive urban part, but provides little wind protection. 9. My threshold for comfort was about 30 minutes. 10. Lean angle is 40 degrees, which provides some serious fun in the corners.